It's a very, very unique and pretty cover, but laptops closed. Listen to this. It's doing something. What the heck is it doing? It's not a good sign. The Dell XPS 13 with its Intel Core i7 EVO impressed me quite a bit. And if I had to switch to a PC from a Mac, at this point, I would have to go with the Dell. But I decided not to stop my testing of machines for developers there. I wanted to test more laptops for you developers and for me, and thought I'd go back to the manufacturer of the first laptop I ever owned, Lenovo. After all, a lot of businesses use Lenovo. It used to be IBM, International Business Machines. Lenovo carries on that legacy of being commonly used in the enterprise. So a lot of people just get that machine automatically from their employers. So let's do some digging around. And I did some digging myself and I got the laptop, which on paper looks very close to the Dell that I tested. The new Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 9 14ITL5. All right, get your naming figured out Lenovo, make it a little bit simpler for us. So the reason I'm going with the Core i7 again is because the Dell 11th generation i7 Evo processor, it beat the new M1 Max in some of the performance testing that I did. Not all of it, but some, including some of the JavaScript builds that I did here as well. So I'm curious to know if this Lenovo that I have here with essentially the same specs can compare to the Dell, or I can find out if the brand plays a bigger role in performance and maybe all the knickknacks they include will degrade the performance somehow or they don't take full advantage of the processor like they do on the Dell or the other way around. I don't know. I'm going to test this out. You're going to see it. I'm going to see it. So we'll all find out together. Okay. That's what this channel is about. So this Lenovo that I have right here with me, by the way, it feels really nice. I really like what they did here with the skin. It almost feels like leather. This machine also has the core i7 11th generation. So all the newest Intel tech, they call it Evo because it meets the performance and portability specs that Intel designated as mandatory to earn such an honor. This one also has 16 gigs of RAM and an integrated GPU. And I'll be doing a bunch of tests on it, including the M1 Mac. So yeah, please consider subscribing to the channel so you get more developer focused videos like this one as we discover these bits of tech for developers together. All right, the first test, if you couldn't tell by the title already, is Unity. Why Unity? Well, many of you have been asking me to test Unity on the M1 Max. And at this point, we already know that Unity works under Rosetta with version 2021. If you didn't know that already, then yeah, it works. And that's version 2021 in alpha. It supports Apple Silicon, so it's not fully out yet in native support, but it will be pretty shortly. But the question is, how usable is Unity on the M1 Max? Well, we're going to run Unity on the Lenovo, which is going to run natively on x86. And we're going to compare this to the M1. So you're getting kind of two videos for the price of one here. One is testing out the Lenovo and seeing how usable is Unity on the M1s? And because I'm not a Unity developer, not yet, I've played around with it, it's really freaking cool. I'm gonna start out with the Hello World app and I'm gonna create the first person shooter FPS template. <laughs> So it's gonna be pretty simple, but we're gonna compare the build times and see how they compare. All right, let's get into it. Now, before we get started, there's one thing I wanna check and that's the battery. So let's head over to my Lenovo, 91% battery, even though I charged it 10 minutes ago to the fullest. Uh, let's check out the battery on the M1, 82%. Haven't charged it for a while. So that's our starting points for the battery. We'll also check it out when we get back to the beginning. Right now, the MacBook Air is not making any noise. As usual, it's silent. The Lenovo, there's like a persistent hum coming from it. Now, this hum is something I didn't even notice on the Dell. Now, this could be totally subjective. And if I had them side by side, that'd be even better. I don't, so I'm just gonna have to go by memory. It seems like the hum here is a little bit more persistent. And we're also gonna check the temperature. So I got a little, little thing here, it checks the temperature. It's not super accurate, but at least it'll give us a relative temperature based on both of these. So the M1 Air is at 26 degrees and the Lenovo is at 
34 degrees. So even before anything is running over here, except my recording software, my screen recorder, um, we got a big difference in temperatures already. Let's kick off a brand new project. So on the Lenovo, I'm gonna start a new Unity project. I'm using version 2019 here, and I wanna kick off the FPS micro game fps is first person shooter it's a just a template that you can build off of and i'm gonna call this fps test 2 because i already had test 1. let's go to create it's telling me that this appears to be taking longer than usual i think it's trying to download other templates and i don't know why it can't let's take a look at how to create a new project on the macbook air m1 i'm going to use 2019 also and i'm going to use fps micro game as my template here as well and i'm going to click create at the same time here not sure what's going to happen or how long it takes but i'll just click that at the same time and see what happens i have not run these side by side before you're seeing it for the first time as i'm seeing it okay so they're both creating the new project it does take a little while and i know that some of you out there that are unity experts are going to be probably taking me apart here in the comments down below have added i am learning and i'm just testing this out if you do have any pointers any constructive criticism that'd be much appreciated and for the next video i can incorporate those changes so let me know in the comments down below what i could do better this project creation takes a long time, doesn't it? Okay, so the Lenovo seems to have created the project already. We're still waiting for the M1 to finish. Now, I might not have all the latest versions. I did download the 2020 version for my Mac since, however, I thought it might be better just to test the 2019 version on both of these, just so it's the same. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the 2021 version is supposedly going to also have compatibility with the Apple Silicon once that's released, but that's not out yet. I think it's still in alpha at the time of this video. All right, so we are coming up on the launch here and finally launched on the M1. Quite a bit slower, folks, as you saw. I'm gonna dismiss this message to skip the new version, that's fine. All I wanna do is just build this Hello World template. I'm gonna close this dialogue that helps me out. And here we are. This is the start of the project. And if you stay till the end of the video, I might even try to play this game and embarrass myself as I haven't played these kinds of games in a very long time. It's kind of dangerous for me because I get hooked on it. All right, so I'm gonna go up to file here and build and run. And I'm gonna go to the same thing, file and build and run. Now there's a shortcut for that. So I'm gonna use the shortcut actually. Control B on the Windows machine and Command B on the Mac. So I'm gonna do this at the same time here. Okay, it didn't start building yet. It's asking me for a folder. So I'm gonna create a new folder here. All you folks that are laughing at me right now that knew this already, FPS build, I'm gonna select that. And over here, I'm gonna say FPS build. And I'm gonna click save at the same time here. And it's building. Okay, so the dialogue in Windows went away, but this one is still on. Now, while it's doing that, let's check out the native or the lack thereof process in Activity Monitor on the Mac. Okay, so it says here, folks, that Unity not responding and Unity is running under Intel. So it's running under Rosetta Emulation. You can see all these different processes that Unity launched behind the scenes and it's doing something. I think it's building. Yeah, it is building. Okay, good, good. So it is building. It was stuck for a while there, not responding, but now it's actually building and we're just gonna wait for it to finish and see which one of these finishes first. Even though the Intel machine over here, the Lenovo got a head start, not really a head start, more like it didn't seem like it was frozen. So it seems like it's done. It's done and it's launching the game on the Lenovo Intel machine and it's launched the game. We're still waiting for the M1. But what's interesting here is this. I want to just mention this while it's completing its build. This Lenovo machine is $1,800 US. This M1, which is a very capable machine, as you've seen on this channel, it does a ton of different things, including building non-native Intel projects. It's done now, by the way, is I think this was a $1,200 machine and it's keeping up pretty well. And it's actually beating the Core i9 Mac that I have, the MacBook Pro Core i9, in quite a few things as well. You can check out the videos on this channel for comparisons. All right, so we did get that built and we're gonna have a timer um, added to this later on to show how long it took. 
So there you go, folks. Those folks that have been interested in Unity builds, you can see that it does work on the M1. It works under Rosetta emulation, so it's not as fast as the native one is gonna be. Once the native one comes out, version 2021, I'll be doing another test, and I bet you, I bet you that it's gonna be much, much faster. Should I? bet anybody on the internet that's probably not a good idea all right forget i said anything about betting now i do want to do one more thing today and that's a raffle we've been doing these raffles on this channel and i'm going to continue doing that so if you watched to the end of the video you get to participate and the rules are pretty simple you have to like the video so give it a thumbs up you have to subscribe to the channel and i'm gonna randomly pick a comment from the comments down below that you're going to leave in two weeks if you left a comment if you subscribed and if you like this video you're automatically entered and i'm gonna pick a winner to win a copy of parallels parallels is the software that i use to run windows virtual machines on my macs and i want to thank parallels again for giving away all these licenses of the software to you folks because that's pretty awesome all right should we do this i don't know if we should do this i'm gonna embarrass myself right now all right let's see i'm gonna play this game so we've got this looks back and forth looks like i can shoot Why did my Lenovo just die? Excuse me, folks. Sorry about this. I just put it to the side and it just closed on me. Maybe it reads my eye movements. I don't know. All right, folks, while I got this here, I want to check a couple of things after this build is done. And that's the percentage. We're at 84% of battery on the Lenovo and we are at 78% on the M1. And one more thing, let's check the temperature. So this one is at 35 degrees, didn't go up too much. And this one is at 30 degrees, went up quite a bit. So the M1 actually went up by more degrees than the Lenovo, but it's still lower overall temperature than the Lenovo. Weird little machine. Feels nice though, it's pretty skinny. We'll do more tests with that one. All right, now I'm gonna try to play this game. We can shoot here, can turn around. Ah, oh, there's a bad guy. Okay, I got him. Hey, I can still do this. What are these little things here? Do I win anything if I collect them? Maybe I do. Okay, good. Oh, oh, sh <laughs> Oh, ugh. <laughs> this is why I don't play these games, folks, because uh, because I like them too much. This is actually a lot of fun. I imagine building one of these got to be a lot of fun. Is there a level two? Maybe. That was fun. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like.